Hello everyone, so this is my video for the final part of the first project and for me the story in this build was much less of a problem I could solve and more a problem I tried to solve and the whole process of the failures and the successes throughout that project. So what I have here doesn't look necessarily as pretty as I can make it and I'm a little disappointed by that but I didn't really want to pretty up something that doesn't quite work yet and so I want to talk more about where I'm at on this project and what my ideas were going in. So the uh, original goal of the project was to make a device that could slide a vegetable into a range for a knife to cut uh, at a very consistent rate. Um, I came up with a bunch of different ideas for this. My first concept was a spring. I scrapped that in the ideation stage for a ton of different reasons, uh, but I ended up on this design, which uses a ramp here uh, and slides an, uh, this, this roller down uh, the middle. Now, I encountered a huge number of problems with this, uh, somewhat this was caused by me being in another state for the experimentation project, and so I couldn't really get some good experiments in that probably would have helped. But no need for excuses here, I just want to talk about where I'm at and uh, where I've, uh, what, I, what I'm seeing is working and not working right now. So since the prototype, I've added several new things. Uh, first, on a small scale, these little pokey, uh, they're, they're paper clips, but they will poke into the vegetable, and when it's at its max extension here, uh, which is about this much, a knife cutting where this ruler is would either barely or not at all impact those spikes, depending on how they're uh, put into the vegetable, which keeps them obviously out of the food. Now, this is probably the biggest change since the prototype. I mentioned it in the prototype project, but I had this idea for a sawtooth because I realized that without it, uh, the spring, which originally was mounted on this sliding piece, would just carry it down to the end way too fast. So this is to restrict the motion just slightly, and it also uh, allows for a more routine step size. So if you hold this screw and just pop it to the next level, you can see that it advances a certain amount. All the way to the end. And then to reset it, I've already done it once, pull this out, and just slide it back and it locks in. That looks actually pretty nice on film, but there's a few big issues. Biggest one is that this slider piece is being lifted up in the air and it's very hard to stop that from happening. I've drilled a hole here that I originally tried to put a piece in to restrict this motion, but due to some physics that I don't need to go into, it really just doesn't work and it makes it much more of a hassle than it's worth. Uh, I've experimented with all sorts of springs and rubber bands for this to, to get the proper strength. Couldn't quite find one in my shop, but that would be probably one of the biggest improvements I would make. So there's a lot of next steps to this project that I'd love to see come to pass and would make it potentially usable in an actual kitchen setting. Um, as it stands, I keep coming up with an idea and then testing and then it fails. And at this point, I've just run out of time uh, to get a really good final project done. But uh, I'm really proud of where this project came in just two weeks. Uh, and I hope to take on something of a little bit more reasonable scale uh, going into this next week and the electrical engineering project. Uh, so thank you all for listening, and I will see you all there.